Uh, Steve, stick around as we turn now to the U.S. consumer doing more and more of their spending online. Shoppers spent a record $12.5 billion on Cyber Monday deals yesterday, up nearly 10 percent from a year ago and surpassing the initial $12 billion estimate. Cyber Monday spending is now bigger than Black Friday, in fact, which was around $10 billion this year. And it all comes as consumer confidence finally showed some improvement this morning, but expectations remained at recessionary levels. Joining us to talk more about all this is Steve Odland. He is CEO of the Conference Board. Steve, welcome. So, you know, we were just talking about kind of Fed officials and rate hikes and, and all the rest of it. From where you sit and what we learned this morning about the consumer, um, what would you tell us? Well, you know, after three months of consumer confidence declines, we got the bounce up here in November that we kind of were expecting. And that's, a, that's really good news. They're still worried about rising prices, especially on food. They're worried about, you know, what's happening in the Middle East and what's happening in Ukraine. They're worried about interest rates. But look, gas prices over the last two months are down 16 percent. That's huge. And we see consumers spend based on, you know, week to week what they have in their wallet. And when they're relieved from having to put the money into the back end of their car, they can spend it on other things. And this is what's driving, we think, uh, Cyber Week. Cyber Week is up nearly 8%. Cyber Monday was huge, a record uh, level. Uh, and season uh, expectations are stronger now uh, because expectations for gas prices and inflation is more subdued. So all of that leads to good news for the consumer. Interesting stats, though. People are buying on their phones more than ever before, more than even a laptop. So they're doing this on the run, which is uh, probably a good thing since Sunday was the biggest travel day ever. Everybody was stuck in their cars and stuck in airports, and no wonder that they're buying on their phones. But this is a big deal for the holiday season. We weren't sure what was going to happen, but feelings, feeling more bullish here. What's the deal with the expectations component here, uh, Steve Odlin? Yeah, so expect so there's two components to consumer confidence. One, how are you feeling right now? And people are feeling pretty good about their job situation and so forth. But most consumers, as well as 70% of CEOs, still say there's going to be a short and mild recession. So you still have that sitting out there. Nobody's quite sure, as Steve Leesman said, nobody's quite sure on whether the Fed's done, when the rate cuts are going to happen. You got all that uncertainty out there, and the consumers are feeling that as well. Steve uh, Leesman, so, what, you know, we often follow consumer expectations as one of these leading indicators. So it's still not a great sign that they remain so moribund. Yeah, but I think that more important than expectations or assessment of the economy are prices. And when consumers are out there shopping and buying, it tells me that prices are moderating. Um, people tend to balk or, or when it comes to discretionary items, hey, that's too expensive. I was very interested in how competitive it sounded that retailers were going into the shopping season. It told me that prices were at least moderating. In some cases, there may be even good deals out there. I went to a Best Buy on Black Friday, um, <laughs> not for professional research, um, uh, Kelly, but for personal research. Um, and the place was mobbed like they were giving away free TVs. I, there were lines to buy televisions. Um, and, and this was not in an upper income neighborhood. It was in a low to moderate income neighborhood uh, where I was. And, and I was amazed at how many people were there. And I think pricing is the first signal. And that then determines whether or not you're going to buy or not. And expectations in consumer sentiment is a layer on top of that that is not necessarily determinative relative to the price. Uh, Steve Odlin, what do you make of that? Well, it depends on what he's right. I mean, obviously, it depends on what they have in their wallet. It's amazing how many households live right. paycheck to paycheck and they've got cash right now. And I think you got to watch these gas prices. The expectations are, you know, with OPEC not coming to a conclusion here, that the prices will continue to fall through the balance of December. That's good news because that gives that frees up more money here than ever before. And this is not scientific, but if you look at what's happened to consumer confidence over the past year, it has floated pretty well correlated with gas prices. So this can turn on a dime yeah. depending on what gas prices are. It comes down to the cash, uh, cash on hand here. But Steve, you know your your you know one store assessment is borne out in the in the big number. You're seeing electronics fly. I mean, huge double digit uh, increases. Gaming. Uh, toys, apparel, televisions, appliances. I mean, anything that you can plug in is, is flying right now. Big